Hello everyone, my name is Cameron and I'm a Summer Invasive Species Technician with Severn Sound Environmental Association or SSCA for short. Today I'm going to talk about how to identify invasive snails, specifically the Chinese and Banded Mystery Snails which are invasive pests that can cause harm to human health, native wildlife and ecosystems. Let's start with the Banded Mystery Snail since they are the easiest to identify. Adults can grow up to 3.5 centimeters long or 1.4 inches long. Their shells are yellowish to greenish brown in color and have three or four reddish brown bands that follow the spirals on the shell. This is the best identification feature for the banded mystery snails and make them easy to tell apart from other snail species. They also have an operculum or trap door at the opening of their shell that is not present on native snails. Now for the Chinese mystery snail. The best identification feature for the Chinese mystery snail is its size. Adults can grow up to six and a half centimeters, two and a half inches long. That's larger than our native snails. Their shells are usually brownish to olive green and solid in color with seven to eight whorls. They'll also have an operculum just like the banded mystery snail. This feature is not present on our native snails. Mystery snails can be a threat to human health and infrastructure. Populations of Chinese mystery snails have been known to reach large densities, up to 40 snails per square meter. This creates two main problems for humans. Mystery snails can carry and transmit parasites to people and wildlife, and their large size means that they can clog water intake pipes when found in large numbers. Due to their large size and ability to protect themselves from predators by using their operculum, mystery snails can outcompete native snails for food and shelter. This results in population declines of native snail species, which can affect the wildlife that depend on them for food, such as birds and fish. Each species also has its own unique effects on the natural environment. The Chinese mystery snail can change water chemistry of the water bodies that it inhabits by altering the nitrogen and phosphorus levels. This can have a negative impact on both the surrounding ecosystem and the native aquatic plants and wildlife that depend on those nutrients. The banded mystery snail is thought to have a negative impact on fish populations by feeding on fish eggs. This can be particularly troublesome when the banded mystery snail populations reach large densities after outcompeting other snail species. The most effective way to combat invasive species is to prevent them from spreading in the first place. The most common ways for mystery snails to be spread is by boats and aquariums. Mystery snails can be attached to boats and trailers and found inside of live wells, ballast, motors, bilge, and transoms. It is important to always drain your boat on land and wash any water equipment with high pressurized hot water or to let it dry in the sun for five days before taking it to another body of water. If you are decommissioning an aquarium or a water garden, always dispose of all of the materials properly and never release any live pets into the environment. If you happen to find any invasive snails in the wild, always wear gloves while handling them. Take photographs of them at different angles with a size comparison and then report them. You can report them to the SSCA using our contact information provided at the end of this presentation, or to the Ontario's toll-free invading species hotline at 1-800-563-7711. Or you can go online to www.eddmaps.org. After photographing mystery snails, do not release them back into the wild. The best practice is to bag them tightly and put them in a freezer. Keep them in the freezer for around 24 hours. Once frozen, you can dispose of them in the trash. Right now, the best way to remove invasive mystery snails from the environment is to handpick the adults and dispose of them properly by freezing them. There are currently no pesticides available to the public in Canada to be used on mystery snails. More research is being done to find more effective ways to eradicate infestations of mystery snails. Thank you for watching. For more information, please follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
You can also visit our website at www.severnsound.ca where we have some fact sheets posted about invasive mystery snails.